What is it? Why are you home? But this is not weekend yet. And your bag? Huh? Mama, they've sucked me. Hey! No! This is not happening. It has happened already. It oh has happened. God. It's okay. Stop crying. Hi. My daughter, wipe away your tears, please. Stop crying. This is not the end of the road. Huh? When this door closes, another one will open. I'm serving the living God. Come and sit down. Sit down and tell me. Sit. Norana, Norana, Norana. Wipe your tears away. Huh? Eh? Ha! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Huh? Mama, I know that there is no way Obina will hear the princess is calling him and ignore her. Yes. I know that they must have lied to her. Oh. Then considering how much she hates him, she didn't even allow him explain at all. Try! Mama, if she had only put the food on him, it would have been fair. But she went on to punish him with two days starvation. Two whole days, Mama. That boy was practically going to die of hunger. The second day, I couldn't hold myself. I had to find a way to give him food. Good. Yes. My daughter, you did the right thing. Eh? What you did was right. The God I serve will be happy with you for what you did. Uh -huh. Having heard the story behind your sack, I am no more angry. Huh? I am no more angry at all. My daughter, mm -hmm. you are a champion and my God will surely pay you. Amen. Oh, Amen. it's okay. Cheer up. Mama, oh, I, I am not even angry again mm -hmm. myself too. Mm -hmm. If I was given a second chance, I would do the same thing for Obina all over. Over again. and over again. Hmm? Over and over again. So, share up. And then, mm -hmm. oh yeah, go and keep your bag inside. Oh. Keep it, come and eat something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they are rich, they no longer care for the poor. They treat the poor like a piece of trash. Been no one. How? Adako, I told you the princess will spare her. She must leave this palace. I told you. Huh. You don't defame me, you. I swear, this one shocked me. My friend, I saw you go there here, it will shock you. The prince go marry me, come out here. <laughs> My marriage will fuck me, the prince go shock you, you don't go know. I don't understand. Look, you're speaking to me in radios. I'm your friend. Wait, does it mean that the princess is also arranging you for her brother? Ad, you know, Enki, I am an achiever. Whatever I want, I get. Whatever my eyes set on, I get. My darling, the only thing now is that the Prince is going to be my so so. <laughs> hey! My friend, tell me! What's going on now? Why are you doing me like this? See, I'm your friend, though. There's something you're not telling me. What do I tell you again? There's nothing to tell you. The only thing I'm going to tell you now is that very soon, as soon as the prince steps his foot on this land, me and K Baby is going to be the next queen. Hey! Come on, shock me! Serious. Make it a shocky. Hey. Babe, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Hey. You're a shocky hey. bad. <laughs> but come to think of it, if Nanya is a way behaved girl, she's more reserved than that in Kechi and Adako. Yes, but her secret affairs with that new boy cost her the job of her dream. It is not worth it at all. 
<laughs> you mean she was guilty of all the allegations? Before Uncle? Mm, I thought she was only trying to be of help and support with that boy since almost everybody in this palace hates him. What kind of support will make a lady sneak out of her room into a boy's room at midnight? Huh? She did that? Eh, hey, nah. That was why she was sent packing. The princess caught her red-handed. But I prefer her to Nkechi and her dad. Both girls are white and arrogant. But she's decent. Forget decent, you. No decent girl will sneak out of her room into a boy's room while others are sleeping at midnight. Mm, maybe she's in love then. Love my food. My princess, please, when is the prince coming back home? Hmm. Kechi, my princess. <laughs> I know you would love my brother to marry you, right? Yes, my princess. My father would actually want him to marry a medium from this palace. I'll be very happy if you help me talk to your brother to get married to you. So, safe to say you're indirectly begging me to speak to my brother to choose you as his wife, right? And princess, I'll be very indebted to you if this happens. <laughs> NK, you know you're my girl. Don't worry, I'll definitely speak to him about you. Thank you, my princess. Well, um, I just hope he likes you too when he finally gets to meet you. I'm sure he will like me. My princess, am I not good looking? See? Of course you are. Thank you. Go to my room and get my laptop. It's on the table, please. What exactly do you want to do? <laughs> Wise woman. I am a maiden in the palace. I serve in the palace. The Igwe has given us a hint that the crown prince will soon be back. And he's likely to choose a wife from any of us. So I have come to you for you to give me a charm that whenever he sets his eyes on me, he will fall in love with me. And I promise you, I will forever be grateful to you and your Ure. Wise one. You came to the right place. There is nothing the great Ufri cannot do. But do you have his picture or any of his belongings? No, wise one. But I can get one for you. I will try my best. I will give you the charm when you come back. If you're coming, Come with the picture because for the champ to walk, there must be a point of contact. Okay, in that case, I will go and come back next week Sunday with the picture. Why next week Sunday? Why is wrong? As I said before, I'm a maiden, and that's the only day I live to see my people. Hmm. Okay. I will be waiting. Thank you, Aizu. Nkechi. My princess. Wait. What, what were you thinking? Nothing. I was just going to get the laptop.
princess. What is going on here? Uh, my princess, I was looking for the iPad you sent me to look for. What did you say you were doing again? I was looking for a laptop, my princess. Looking for my laptop. What is this on the table? My princess, I, 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 I didn't see it there. I didn't know you kept it there. I was looking for it everywhere. I'm sorry, my princess. I'm so sorry. I'll be on my duty post, my princess. Are you still awake by this time of the night? Mama, is it that late? <laughs> awesome, is it that late? Ifunanya, I hope you are not thinking about your work. No, Mama, I wasn't thinking about my job. I was thinking about Obina. My daughter, you should stop worrying about him. Oh, he's God. We'll surely see him through. Hmm? Ndipa isi kwa nefi ni mwuro dudu. Na chia, na churi ijiji. Oh? Piko, it is late already. Stand up. Let's go inside. Which is kwa mozo o? The God he serve, we surely see him through. Oh ma? Ngo, 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 ngo. Kati narana. How? I have to go before they see us and to be more trouble. Bina, I love you. Huh? Take care. Hi. Oh. Okay, well, give me money, give me money. No, how can I give you money? 
Mm. I say, mm. if you want to give me, gun. I just have to. <laughs> you are that like that. Next time, it's not so. I just have to keep quiet. Mm. Hmm. What happened was that. Good afternoon. Good uh -huh. afternoon. Good afternoon. What is it? Um, please, eh? Don't be offended. Can I get Ifunaya's number from any of you? <laughs> I, I forgot to collect it before she, she left. Hey! <coughs> you forgot to collect the number before she left? Yes. Hey! Hi! After sleeping with her every night. Oh. What is no? No, Okini. No! You forgot to collect her number. Oh. You're a big fool. Asin, you are a big fool. No, come and collect the number. If not, you're just oh, my oh, fool. Oh, what is your name? Eh? You, you mean you can't be focused in life for once? Huh? Huh? Don't mind this fool. Wait, after everything, after all the warnings from the king, even after the girl was sacked, you have a reason to collect her number. I mean, for what? For what? I beg, keep quiet. Idiots. <laughs> if the king, or the queen, or even the princess hears of this, what do you think will be your fate? Does he even think about that one? If he does, he will not be a gates man in this palace. Um, please, I don't be offended. I only asked for Ifunaya's number. But I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want the number anymore. You, you can... And I said, sorry for yourself, for even asking me for the number. You're a big fool. Come on, get out of here. You can never. Girlfriend, get out. Go and look for your girlfriend's number somewhere. Thank you, girl. Sorry for yourself. Come on, get out. Dead tickets, man. Oh. Yeah, she, I hate this place. It's quite tasty. Oh. 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 Yeah, she, it's clear. I think it's important. They sacked her. Mama, she lost her job because of me. It's okay. God will provide her with another job. Mama, the painful part of everything is I didn't take her number before she left. And I don't know where she lives. You mean you did not collect her number from her all this while? Her colleagues refused to give me. The truth is we were supposed to go to her place this weekend before this this whole thing happened and she got sacked. Now I don't know what to do. It's okay. If both of you are meant to be together, fate has a way of bringing you two together. I believe in it. I hope so, Mama. I hope so. I tried all the possible best to get the picture. But I didn't get the picture. What about any other material that he uses on his board? Any of his belongings? His shoes, jewelries, clothes, anything. He doesn't stay in this country, wise one. Mm. This is just the first time he's coming back. It will definitely not be easy. So wise one, how do I make it easy? Tell me, what can I do to make it work? I really want the prince for myself. Wise one, I can do anything just to get the prince. If it is true that you can do anything as you just said, you should try as much as you can to get his picture. 
or any of his belongings. That is the only way it can work. Or other ways may not work, even after they might have cost you a lot. Yes, if you are really desperate, then you have to take desperate measures. <laughs> Are you right? Yes, my princess. I can be very funny like that. <laughs> my princess, I was just thinking, how will your brother look like? I hope he's as cute as you are. Of course, he's very cute. <laughs> All of us in our family are very cute. Hey, we don't have any ugly person in my family. So as for my brother, in one word, I would say he's dark and um, dark in complexion and very tall. Hmm. I can't wait to see him. Hey, of course, and um, you'll see him this weekend because he's coming this weekend. You're not happy to see him or something? No, I was just, I was just thinking, I was just surprised that he's coming back early. Now you know. That's why you're my girl. I'm giving you all the expos you need. So what are we saying? Get yourself ready. You have to be ready. <laughs> if you mess up, that's that will be on you. Not on me anymore, because I've done all the work for you. I have actually spoken to him about you, and I sent in your pictures to him. And fortunately for you, I think he likes you. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Thank you so much, my princess. You, my girl, anything for you. I'm grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. are welcome. Mm -hmm. So the ball is in your court now. Yes, your princess. Be a good player. A player, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I almost got called a second time by the princess. Thank God I was able to cover up. So this weekend, I won't be able to see Baba before the prince arrives. Well, no need. Since the princess has spoken to him about me, I'm sure he likes me already. Yes. You see this lady here? She's going to build the prince's choice, after all. So yes, I need to see Baba. Is this? Is this not the same boy that opens and closes the gate? Oh, the gate boy. Yes, it is, is the same boy. Yeah. 
spend the money out. Ah, uh, my people, my people. So no one, my elders, people, this royal family, Obina here is my son, eh? my only son, my only son who remained undercover in this palace, working as a servant. He was here opening the gate, closing the gate. Working with the servants, being humiliated, suffering humiliation, suffering deprivation. Mm. Oh, the same boy. Oh, you boy, you did too much. My queen, how were they able to know that what you have in your stomach? <laughs> they called it ultrasound. Ultrasound? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yes, the doctor placed the machine on my tummy and everything on my tummy showed on his television. You mean he placed it on the tummy and my big boy was seen? I, I, I wasn't able to see it myself. <laughs> yes, because uh, everything was dark. It was just at that moment. But the doctor saw and understood everything. Mm. Indeed, we bought too much, my queen. Yes, they are, they are, you know. It's just that it's costly. I just wish everyone, including the commoners, will afford it. At least to check the size of the baby. My queen, it's not a thing of worry. I know your heart. See, I think the only thing is that the thing is not rampant at the moment. Um, maybe so many hospitals do not have the facility. By the time it becomes very affordable, I know it will be affordable at the same time. So, do not worry yourself. I just saw Yes, yes. Igwe. I was told by the security man to inform you that Igwe Hazi is here to see you in a matter of life and death. Please, where is he at? He's outside. Tell them to give him access immediately. Igwe. Um, Your Majesty. At this point, I will be waiting for you in our chambers. It's okay, my queen. I will join you shortly. Thank you. Please let me help you. Do not be scared to say. Okay, yeah, I'll be yes. waiting for you. I'll join you shortly. Okay. I love you, my queen. I don't need the critter. Not now. Not anymore. Not anymore. What is wrong? My life is in danger. I only came in here to hide. Who is after your life? The same person that killed my wife a moment ago. What? You mean your wife is dead? Hold up. You've got no reason to invade my privacy. It's my privacy. I'm an adult for God's sake. Fuck! Now, so listen to me. In case you don't know, smoking is prohibited. In our culture, it's not our culture. It's a crime punishable by the law in this country. Yes, no, sir. We didn't send you abroad to go and learn their own useless way of life. We sent you there to go and study and act your own natural wisdom. So you'll be a better king after your father. Father! All these things you guys are saying is all trash. Fucking trash! Because this is not enough reason for you to, to, to invade my privacy. It's fuck! I'm an old daughter and I know what is good for myself. You must stop that thing you smoke in this house. Not anymore. You must stop it. <laughs> Look, no one tells me what to do. I have right to do what I want to do. No one tells me what to do. You're an old man, so you do your fucking old man stuff. I'm a young guy. Yeah. yeah. How now? Are you out of your mind? I'm still your father. 
You must listen to me. What did you just do? If I can hit me, I will hit you again. You hit me again and again. How many times me? You fucking hit me. My love, you have collapsed me. You have done that. Allow me. You know he's walking under the face of that hard drop. Yes, a slap will reset back his brain. You will make him come back to his senses. How did my soul stand before me and talk to me in such manner? Nonsense. Oh! She slapped me right. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Drop that gun. Mama, Please. leave the fucking way. Drop no, it. No, no, no. Leave so the fucking way before this bullet hits you. Drop that gun. I'm your mother. Listen to me. Not so. I'm your mother. Not so. Drop it. Drop How dare gun. you. Drop it. How dare you. Drop it. You lay your fucking fifty hands on me. Not so. Drop it. You fuck. Drop it. Not so. Not so. You fuck. Drop it. Mama, leave the fucking way before this bullet hits you. But I'm your mother. Hey! Also, please. You don't talk while I'm talking! Also, please. You don't talk while I'm talking! Also, you fuck! Nigga! You fuck! <laughs> Mama! You see what you've cast? You mean your son killed your wife and he's after your life? As we speak right now, my wife is lying in her own pool of blood in my palace. I do not want to believe this. I, I, I cannot believe this. You have to believe it. It is real. You have to. What is going on? What? What is? Igwe has. I think. I think you need to stay here for some time. Stop asking me where I am. I am in a safe place. Go with your boys and arrest that bastard who calls himself my son. That arm robber. I need to come back home. I can only return back to that palace if that bastard has been taken to jail. Yes. I want to see my wife before she is finally deposited in the mug. Get rid of that bastard and get back to me with this number. Please help me with your number. Okay. 042. 042. 366. 366. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. I want my son to study abroad. I want him to live the best life. I want all the good things of life for him. Now all is vanity. How can a woman die of a bullet? Not from a stranger, neither an enemy. But from a son that she carried in her womb for nine months. The right question should be, how can a man dig his own grave? With his own hand, by the choices he made. All in the name of living in affluence and wealth. How can a man be the architect of his own failure? Mm. Too many questions, yet unknown answer. You hello? Okay. Igor Harzi, you have a call. Hello. Commissioner. Have you apprehended the bastard? Good. No. I must see my wife before she is finally deposited in the mug. Uh, yes. I am coming home right away. Thank you. Hazi, I am sorry for all you've been through lately. 
please do accept my condolence. Did I deserve it? I have got what I deserve already. Thank you for the comfort of your peaceful home. Thank you. That same night, Igor Hase, who could not refrain from blaming himself from the grievous mistakes of his life, took his own life. Oh, hey. Hey. When I heard news of his death, sleep left my eyes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. He go around his son bonds down his father's palace. One week he returned from abroad. He go his son ripped his father's wife. That's his stepmother. And he also ripped all the maidens in the palace. And his father placed the curse on him. Now Igwe has his son has killed his mother and his father have died of heartbreak. One thing is common among these kings. They all raise their sons abroad and give them all the best things of life. Oh, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Yes. Looking around me and um, seeing all that have befallen other kings around, and um, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that Obina might grow up to behave like other prince around. Well, I don't think so, my king. We will commit him in the hands of God. This is not God's responsibility. Choice. Choice, my queen. Children that are trained in great affluence. They are given what they want and need, even the ones they don't need. Grow to see that the world is at their foes too. They do whatever they want, however they want it. And nothing will happen. They go out with it. That is not how I want my prince to be. But you were a prince years back, and your father. My father disciplined me. You cannot compare the training children of those days were given to what we give children of these days. I don't get you. Where are you headed? Where I'm headed is children trained in poor homes by poor parents grow to be wiser. I'm afraid, my queen, I do not want such for my prince. I do not want Obina to grow up in this palace. Never. Your Majesty. <sighs> okay, so what do you intend to do? I have a plan, my queen. Though it's still in progress, but I'll tell you about it at the right time. I don't, I don't like this, your idea at all. I do not like it. Obina can never be raised in this palace. Never. Uh, your Majesty, other kings do send their sons abroad. To go and learn 
and come back to take over from them. But here you are, talking about sending your own son to a poor family. Your Majesty, I'm lost here. My parents didn't send me abroad, so I will never send my son abroad. But you should understand, Your Majesty, that the times of your fathers are not the same with now. These children go abroad to learn cultures that are not ours. No value system, no respect for humanity, no value for life, use of hard drugs, use of foul languages. They learn these abominable things that ruins them. I do not want same for my son. I want him to be raised under the care of a poor parent. Because poverty itself is a teacher. I, I know of a woman by name Ojugo. She, she stayed back from getting married with the intentions of raising children in her own father's compound. It appeared she, she's barren. She never had a child for them until their death. I think she is a picture of the perfect description of what you want, my king. Is she from this our kingdom? She is from Ochasiasa, but not directly from Amokwe. She is from Mubinago. Better, because I wouldn't want him to be raised where anyone would recognize him. I know what you want, Your Majesty. And on no account should she know that he's royalty. Yes, Your Majesty. When are you coming to pick him? Do you want it that soon? I do not have time. Afunwa will be coming to take our son to Obinago next week Sunday. My king, are you sure this is what you want? 100%. Are you also sure that this is the best decision for our son? So what then do we tell people when they ask about our son? That he traveled abroad to be one of his uncles and um, to attend his primary, secondary and um, tertiary education. That's simple. I see you have made up your mind. And at the same time, I can stop the king's decision. Let it be as you have said, Your Majesty. At this point, I think um, you have to pray that the gods be with him. You should know that my prayers are always with him. Nah, uh, oh, be nah. Mm. Nah, be gay when you Don't be offended. I don't really get what you're saying. Okay. I, I have this boy that I, I gave birth to another woman far away on Utubo. And I don't want my wife and my family to know about the boy yet. And um, the problem now is that the mother is getting married. And the people, her people say that she'll come and collect my son. Because there's nobody to take care of her, the, 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 the boy in, in the family house. So I, I've been thinking about it. I don't know what to do. I, I just remembered you. I said, maybe I don't know if you if you like it. Let me let me let me bring the boy here because I don't want my family and my wife to know about him yet. Let me let me bring the boy here so that the boy you you, you help me raise the boy. The boy will just know you as as his mother. You understand? At the right time, when the time is ripe. I will still come and take him back to my family. At least it has, it, it has, it will save me from this uh, immediate uh, shame that is about to come up now. Please. Now I see. 
Afuma, what put this idea in you is not ordinary. But I thank God. Now I know my days are long on earth. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. But wait though. Yeah. Hope you'll be giving us some money for his schooling and other things. Yeah, yes. Yes, I was sending I was sending the mother money. So I will I will, I will continue to send you money. Okay, I will go. Okay. It's finished. So like God it. bless you. Amen. My God will continue to bless you. See. For remembering a shadowless woman like me. Amen. You will never lack. See. What you used to train that boy will not be a problem to you. So shall it be. See. Thank you so much. Please, I put Obina in your hands. Ensure he is safe and well taken care of, please. My friend, he won't be needing any of those clothes. Um, Afuma here would have to shop for him and get him some handful of okrika, so I would advise you drop that. Okay, my lord. My queen, why are you crying? Not like we are selling him, we are doing this for his own betterment. Son, Uncle will be taking you to Grandma's place. We will come from time to time to visit you. Then, um, Afuma, please. Motherhood transcends beyond pregnancy and breastfeeding. I may not have given birth to you. I may not have breastfed you. But the bond we share is only between a mother and a son. If they want to take you away from me, there's nothing I can do. I cannot start dragging with both hands what does not belong to me. I've always known that a day like this would come. But I didn't know it was going to be this soon. Oh, <laughs> 